In 2016, Renato Sanchez won the Golden Boy Award. He was at Benfica and joined Bayern Munich that summer. People assume that Sanchez will become the next big midfielder, and though there is still time for him to do so, he is only 23. Things just haven't worked out for him. Bayern Munich sent him out on loan to Swansea, and it was a disappointing season for Sanchez. He ended up getting relegated with Swansea. Bayern Munich decided Sanchez wasn't worth all the hype and ended up selling him to Lille for £18 million. And at Lille, he really saw a revival story. He's been in instrumental in Lille's success over the last two years, even beating PSG to the Ligue 1 title and winning it this Sanchez season. Sanchez has established himself as one of the best midfielders in Ligue 1 and really has shown that he could be the player that he was hyped up to be in 2016. And I do think Bayern Munich will regret selling him as his market value has almost doubled since he'd left Bayern Munich. A lot of people did write Sanchez off after that disappointing loan spell at Swansea, but unlike a lot of other Golden Boy winners, Sanchez is proving everyone that he is what he was hyped up to be. At Euro 2020, the Portuguese midfielder has been just brilliant. In my opinion, he was the best player on the pitch in that 2-2 draw versus France. Sanchez really does seem like he does have the potential to become one of the best midfielders in the world, and with links to the likes of Liverpool and Tottenham, it does look like he'd be a great fit for both of those teams. And with a market value of around 30 to 40 million, he'd be an absolute brilliant signing. He is only 23, that's really young for a player of his quality. This video is filmed before Portugal versus Belgium, and I do think Sanchez will be a key player if Portugal do want to go ahead and beat the Belgium. Sanchez is one of the few players in that original Euro winning squad and would be a key player if Portugal want to make it back to back Euro. Whether Portugal will go on to win only time will tell but I can see him becoming the midfielder everyone hyped him up to be in 2016. But that's just my opinion please do let me know what you think. Do you think Sanchez will become the player everyone thought Sanchez would be? Let me know in the comments. As always please do not forget to like share and subscribe and have an absolutely wonderful day.